Next on Worcester News tonight, a group of climate change activists ride through the city in hopes of spreading their message. Plus, the WRA is yet to purchase the land where Polar Park is being built. Is the city still on schedule for 2021? Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Cam Jandro. A group in the city is hoping to raise concern about global warming. The Worcester Climate Strike Coalition is spreading their message Friday, riding their bikes from downtown Worcester to Elm Park. The reason behind the bikes, to show the community they're a means of transportation which does not have an environmental impact. Europe is heating up faster than any scientist ever predicted. Uh, the, uh, the Arctic is melting faster. Greenland is melting faster. The Antarctic. Uh, everything is happening faster than anybody ever thought, including the scientists. Riding a bicycle is a very good way to get around, but we don't want to insult people just because they're driving. A lot of them don't have a choice. The group will be hosting a march for climate change on September 27th, starting at Lincoln Square and ending at City Hall. A scary scene out of West Brookfield when a car crashes through a home this morning. Police say the suspect was fleeing from them when he lost control of his car. Our Olivia Lemon has the details. It's pretty loud, yeah. It almost sounded like a jet plane. It was so fast. Ronald and Christine Marchesal recount the moments a car smashed into their West Brookfield home. Christine says she was in bed around 5 this morning when she heard a car accelerating and had a feeling something bad was going to happen. And then all of a sudden, I was just going to wake him up, and then I, I heard this big explosion, and we ran into the kitchen, and the whole, um, the whole room was just all gone. West Brookfield police say 19-year-old Owen West was speeding away from police when he lost control of his car. The Dudley man hit the home and ran from the scene. Swampy, and I guess he ran through there, and about an hour later, the... They caught him. They had the dogs out. West is facing multiple charges, including operating under the influence and failure to stop for police. The March Assault say this isn't the first time a crash has happened in front of their home. Then there's been a lot of complaints on this road. We've had a few years ago, we had a car speeding down the road here and it hit, hit our tree and then kind of did a little turn around in the front yard. Ronald and Christine have lived in their home for 35 years and had just redone their dining room where Wes crashed into, but say they're just happy no one was seriously injured. Nobody got hurt. Our pets were safe, and it's just the one room of the house that we hardly ever use, and so we can... You had just redone it? Yeah, but that's right, no. Yeah. Just a room. Olivia Lemon, Worcester News Tonight. More positive West Nile samples in Worcester leads to more sprayings next week. The plantation in Hamilton Street area will be sprayed, along with neighborhoods along the Auburn Line. On Tuesday, September 3rd, spraying will start just after sunset. Residents in those areas are urged to keep windows closed during spraying, stay inside 15 or so minutes afterwards, wash off any garden vegetables before consumption, and keep pets inside. Residents do have the option to opt out of the service. If so, you can visit the state's website and fill your information out. A sewer line break in Worcester causes a health advisory for Indian Lake ahead of Labor Day weekend. The line broke Thursday on Proctor Street. The city says sewage was released into the road and may have entered the lake in the area of the pumping station. The warning advises residents to avoid the water in the area until it has been tested. The city says results from the test samples are expected soon. The city rededicates the Elizabeth Betty Price Playground Friday afternoon, this time with her family. Price became the first African-American woman elected to the school committee in 1973. She also helped found the Prospect House, a human services agency which assisted the poor. The playground underwent $1.2 million of improvement, which includes new playground equipment, lighting, as well as a fitness area. Friday, Price was remembered as a kind, caring woman. I mean, if there was somebody in the city that needed help, just call Betty. Right? That was 100% the truth. My mom did a lot of things. She brought a lot of things to Worcester and helped a lot of people. She was a scholar late into adulthood and up until her death. She did all of this to help children of the city have a better chance for a better tomorrow. Price's family also spent Friday collecting donations of school supplies and non-perishable food items. 
Many Massachusetts residents are expected to travel all over this Labor Day weekend, but according to AAA Northeast, Cape Cod and the island seems to top the list. Many got a head start and were already on the road earlier this afternoon. Gas prices are also much lower than they were this time last year, which could mean more drivers on the road. Some we spoke with today say traffic so far has been smooth sailing. It's been absolutely fine coming in from the Worcester area. Not so bad. No traffic at all. Came up from New York and picked up the Mass Pike you know, around, around Sturbridge. Uh, you know, it was pretty non-existent because we got here a couple days ago and we're leaving today and I think we're going the opposite direction of everybody else. AAA says many are expected to travel by car this year. Local police departments are reminding everyone to stay safe and follow the rules of the road. Obviously a big uh, holiday for cookouts in the lake and people tend to have a few beers at those things, so we just encourage you not to drive if you're going to do that. Uh, today's day and age, you can obviously get a designated driver, but it's easier than ever not to drink and drive with the popularity of Uber and Lyft and the like. Uh, so there's really no excuse, just you know, get a ride from somewhere else if you plan on drinking. AAA Northeast says Boston and the Berkshires are also popular destinations this weekend. The city of Worcester broke ground on Polar Park last month, but the redevelopment authority doesn't own the land where the stadium is being built yet. The space on Madison Street is currently owned by Madison Properties. According to the city, an agreement is being finalized with Madison Properties. City manager Ed Augusta says they do have permission to work on the site and all construction is on schedule. The end of September we'll probably start seeing, like I said, dirt move. Some of the dirt will stop being trucked across the street as we build up the roadway and the site across the street where the hotels are going to be built and the garage and the housing. Um, and we're, we'll be creating kind of a bowl where the ballpark is going to go. Polar Park is set to open in April 2021, which is just under 20 months away. Three developers have purchased land in the Canal District to create more parking in the area. According to the Worcester Business Journal, the lots at 156 Washington Street and 9 Langdon Street were purchased for just over $1 million. The land, formerly owned by Wyman Gordon, will be served as parking spaces for workers and residents. Among the purchasers of the property was Worcester Public Market owner Alan Fletcher. The Business Journal also says the lot at 156 Washington is included in the city's parking plans for Polar Park. Big changes in a small town. Berlin has hired its first town administrator. The town is adjusting to its new all-female leadership and making long-term goals. Our Chandler Walsh has more. Margaret Nardowitz has been in town administration and public service for more than 30 years. She signed a three-year contract in Berlin. Selectmen say she has an open-door policy, and the majority of Berlin's residents have already been through to meet her. For more than two centuries, Berlin hasn't had a town administrator. Margaret Nardowitz is the first to fill this seat, coming on board in July. Berlin has accomplished a tremendous amount without a town administrator, um, and that is attributable to strong volunteerism and a strong staff. Selectmen say having the position will make communication smoother and quicker and provide more organization in a growing town. We worked on it previously. We, it, you know, it was a long process coming to this point, and um, I'm so glad we're here. It was important to have somebody here who had a thumb on the pulse of every day. This isn't the first time Nardowitz has been a town's first administrator. She's focused first on understanding the community and strengthening policies and procedures. Long-term goals, I think that we need to be looking at community development, how we, um, how we approach uh, the continuing uh, growth pressures that the town sees. This is the first time, though, she's joined by an all-female team. Selectmen Peg Stone, Chris Keefe, and Lisa Wysocki are excited to show a different kind of leadership. Women are coming into leadership roles more than they ever have before and that it's necessary. We pay attention to different things. Um, you know, women pay more attention to education and health care and how people are actually doing. The women are working on town budget, policies, and new hires. They say they also hope to be an example for young girls. Women can lead locally, women can lead at the state level, women can lead at the national level. People can look up to us to say they can do it, they work together, they talk, they figure it out, they resolve conflict, we can too. The town is hiring for a fire chief, building inspector and treasurer. The next Board of Selectmen meeting is Tuesday night. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.